after several CNN editorial call recordings exposed the network's plan to portray President Trump as abnormal and desperate, a CNN host and a Biden consultant are now reported to have attended high-level Chinese Communist Party meetings as, quote, Western representatives. In a recording released by Project Veritas, CNN boss Jeff Zucker instructed his editorial team not to, quote, normalize Trump. Okay, I, I just want to reemphasize that, uh, you know, I, I think we, we cannot normalize what has happened here uh, in the last week with Trump and his behavior. And I, I go back to what David said, David Chalian said, that this is a president who knows he's losing, who knows he's in trouble, uh, is sick, maybe is uh, on, on uh, the after effects of steroids or not, I don't know. But he is acting erratically and desperately, and we we need to uh, 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 we need to we need to not normalize that. He went on. You know, this is what we've come to expect uh, for the last three and a half years, four years, but it clearly is exacerbated by uh, the time that we're in and the issues that he's dealing with, and I think that we cannot just let let it be normalized. He is all over the place and acting erratically, and I think we need to lean into that. He also hinted to his team not to report the news related to the Hunter Biden scandal. The, 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 the Trump media, uh, you know, moves immediately from, okay, well, never mind that unmasking was, you know, uh, found to be completely nonsensical to, to the latest uh, uh, alleged scandal and uh, expect everybody to just follow suit. So uh, I, I don't think that we should be repeating unsubstantiated uh, smears just because the right wing media suggests that we should. Later, CNN host and Washington Post writer Fareed Zakaria and Biden advisor and former Obama era National Economic Council director Larry Summers participated in the Understanding China Conference 2020 held between November 20th and the 22nd. According to the National Pulse, the theme of this conference, titled, quote, Huge Shakeup, Big Test, and Great Cooperation, China's New Journey Toward Modernization and Building a Community with a Shared Future for Mankind, was to push for increased cooperation between the Chinese Communist Party and the broader world. Notable Chinese speakers during the conference included Zheng Bijian, chairman of the National Innovation and Development Strategy Research Association, Huang Yifan, the former mayor of Chongqing, and Yi Xiaowen, deputy director of the Cultural, History, and Learning Committee of the CCPCC. Other Western leaders, meanwhile, also attended, including former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, former Mexican President and 21st Century Council Chairman Ernesto Zedillo, former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, former Indonesian President Megawati Sakarnoputri, and so on. And alongside them sat regular attendees such as German Chairman of the Bundestag Wolfgang Schaubel and Nicholas Bergruen, founder of the Bergruen Institute. The Bergruen Institute is related to Joe Biden's Transition Integrity Project, TIP. The co-founder of the organization, Nils Gildman, serves as vice president of programs and deputy editor of the Institute's magazine. Gilman has gained notoriety for tweeting a death threat against Michael Anton, a senior fellow at the Claremont Institute and former Trump administration official.